I've seen and witnessed a lot of the problems that develop out in the field for our police officers. And when I heard a few years ago, I heard the work that Framingham was doing, I knew there was hope. And I was hoping at some point I'd be able to um, recognize that the lessons that um, have been learned and have been put in practice, the, the, the uh, practices, the new practices, best practices put in place um, was, would start to catch on and we could start to benefit from that across the state. If there's anything that's really um, a horrible tragedy um, in this day and age, but in particularly in this state, it's the fact that still people who are mentally ill end up um, by default in the criminal justice system. And to me, that has seemed like one of the most obvious wrongs to correct. Um, and it seems like in Massachusetts, we should be able to do this. We have had, um, we've been leaders in particularly in healthcare reform. And if we begin to understand that, that the mental health issues that have not been addressed and have not been cared for become identified and that the people who interact with the population that we're, we're talking about have the skills um, and can develop some of the compassion and, and um, see better results. Um, again, there's a, always a struggle. We never have money at this time of the year. We'll start talking about that in the budget. And one of the unspoken struggles is between Department of Corrections and the Department of Mental Health and the Department of Public Health. And where do we put the people who don't really fit in our prison system? Um, they may be too difficult to be in our community-based systems of care. So it's time for us to, to you know, really toe the mark um, and start addressing this from um, a more forward thinking um, and a more productive way. Um, it's being done in other states and it's been modeled for us in communities like Framingham. I've seen it in Boston, um, in, in, uh, again, in one of the precincts where we have an extremely high homicide rate, a lot of young people, a lot of mental health issues, substance use issues. Um, they've been, one of, one of our districts, D2, has been taking a uh, psychiatrist on, on rides on, on the night patrol and they, the police officers love it. Um, the psychiatrists are very happy with it. Uh, and again, we're getting, having much better outcomes um, than just hauling people off, causing conflict, uh, and then having to warehouse people. So I'm very grateful for the study and having all this information coalesced in one place. I think it'll help us in positions of policy um, development make saner and much more cost-effective decisions. So thanks again.